Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Y'all, this Indiana weather is icky. <laughs> um, it's about 37 degrees right now and a little rainy, but I had a request just a little while back to do another um, feeding and rabbit tours video. So I'm gonna see if A, the weather will hold out for me enough and if the GoPro will hold out. We actually, um, a piece of the mounting bracket broke off um, earlier in the week. So we've had to use our older, shorter rickety tripod and um, the bunnies tend to like to tip that over. So we're gonna see if it works. Um, at the very least, you can see some of the rabbits. Vanna and one of her babies this morning, they've already been out having breakfast. What do you think, sweetheart? Oh, baby. Well, that's the closest you've ever let me get to you. And I <clears throat> haven't changed their water yet, but. Vanna, did you enjoy your breakfast? Good talk. <laughs> Um, I've already done a couple of the bigger grow out pens, but I'll show you what's going on with these bunnies because they have just exploded in fluff. What do you think? Look, look at Bear. Look how fluffy this rabbit is. Y'all. Hi. Miss Whitey over there. Miss Betty White over there munching. Your hay pile was huge just a second ago. Did you eat that much already? Did you? We've got um, quite a few people hopefully coming this week um, to look at some of the bunnies. So hopefully these guys will be going to a new home soon. In any case, I had to separate um, Werewolf from the pack. He's in a cage over there, you'll see. But his little uh, buck hormones were getting out of control and he would not leave the ladies alone. So, and same with these, with these two. Hop down, hop down, sweetheart. Hi, hi, sweethearts. And these two lovely ladies were being absolutely terrorized by the two bucks in here. So, they had to get separated. And I tried to put them in another cage together because they're litter mates and they haven't had any issue being in the cage with the, the does, but I guess being in the cage by themselves, they didn't really like that and started fighting. So I had to separate them. Um, yeah, so it's been, it's been fun around here, but I haven't done any of my chores on these three, four hutches yet. So I'll take y'all through. And like I said, hopefully the tripod um, cooperates with me. Um, good morning, Butters. And you might... Um... All right, excuse me, let me clean your bathroom. She is very consistent with her bathroom spot in the corner there. Put some more hay in its place. Sorry, sorry, darling. I know you don't like the hay sound. And she likes to get her hay right here and sleep on it and munch at the same time. Darling, why don't you put all your hay in your water dish? Um, but you may have, you may remember that she had babies the last time I did a video in here. We actually took Butter's babies and Mama Lucky's babies, all but one, um, to Dinky's, an Amish auction house before Easter to see if, um, oh, I've left my water bucket. Um, to see what we could get for them, just because it being right before Easter, we figured, you know, those little baby bunnies would, and they were weaned, um, but we figured those little bunnies would make a, a few children very happy for Easter. Well, y'all, we lost our shirts on that deal. And it's not all about the money for us with the bunnies. I mean, shoot, we've given away enough bunnies. Um, but I think we took, we took 13 bunnies in 
and they the problem was that they just had so many animals there between rabbits chickens chicks um and we ended up leaving about an hour and a half two hours after we were there um, because it would probably would have taken two more hours just to get to ours and when we finally got the check in the mail y'all they didn't sell the cage which we put for sale and they only listed 12 bunnies instead of the 13 so i don't know if it was a miscount or what but big old fat check for nine dollars and six cents <clears throat> excuse me um it was a, our first time doing that uh i don't regret doing it necessarily but we won't be doing it again isn't that right butters but all right i'm gonna leave you here for a second and get her just a little bit more hay There you go, darling. Enjoy your breakfast. Well, good morning, Tanner. How we doing? Try and get you angled here. And I mentioned in one of the last videos that I've been letting them kind of, and I've still got to spot clean her hay, but instead of having all their hay and their little hay holders for them i've been just putting it in the cage and letting them do with it what they will and just spot cleaning their bathroom areas um it gives their feet a little bit more um a little bit more comfort off of that that wire and i think they just like doing their own housekeeping and putting it where they want and they do not like the sound if any of y'all know for sure why that is I don't know if it mimics maybe the sound of predators um, going through the leaves or grass or something, how it would be in the wild, but none of the rabbits like that sound. When I start scraping hay up, they're not happy, but I'm going to get you some more hay, Tanner girl. you go, darling. Enjoy your breakfast. While I'm over here, I'll go ahead and... Oh, that wasn't even a water dish. That was an old food dish. Alright, that's coming up there. Y'all, this hay gets everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Okay. Now, Mama Lucky here. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, baby. Now, the reason this little baby here is still here and didn't go to auction is I've been keeping an eye on um, on one of its eyes, which it actually looks like it's been improving a lot. I've been doing um, warm compresses on it. It had nest eye really bad when it was younger. And I'm pretty sure I've explained what that is before. Um, when they're in the nesting box, there's so much debris that gets in there, um, at times that if they get something, whether it be like a piece of hay, a piece of mama's fur in their eye, when they get to the point where they're starting to open their eyes, it can, it's not really an infection. I've not had any of mine get infected. Um, they've all been able to clear up with warm compresses, but it makes it hard for that eye to open. Um, and that little, little nugget there was having some issues, but both, oh! <laughs> Is there anything cuter than a rabbit yawn? Um, but it was having some issues and it looks like it's all cleared up, which is a good thing, isn't it, sweetheart? Mama, trying to climb out on me. All right, y'all, let's see. Now, Lucky, now don't you eat my GoPro. Come on, y'all. <laughs> I knew this tripod was going to be tricky I'm doing this. Mama Lucky, I got to put your food in there. <laughs> the 
I'm lucky. Stop. <laughs> you just want to rub yourself over everything, don't you, darling? Hi, sweetheart. Just some fresh water there. And it's funny. Y'all, she is super, super protective of that baby. Watch out. Mama Lucky. Excuse me. She's like, oh, I haven't tried to eat that piece of wood before. Come on. Come on, darling. Go on. All right. I'm going to take y'all with me to get more hay for her because I just know she's going to knock my GoPro over in the water or something. Dana, you taking yourself a rest? I don't see you in here very often anymore. I don't. Hi, sweetie. Dana just gets up to all sorts of mischief lately. Going and visiting the neighbors. She likes getting down by the chicken coop. I never know where I'm going to see her. All right, y'all. There you go. And we have um, a couple of kids that are wanting to look at some bunnies. And since that's the smallest one we have anymore. What are you doing, Shippy? Um, now that its eyes cleared up, I would actually feel comfortable um, sending it to a new home. Chip. Missy. Your cage, look at this, hay in all the water dishes. You're so silly. Miss Chip here is pregnant. She is due, I wanna say in two weeks. So we'll be keeping an eye on her, getting a nesting box in here for her later. Um, and I don't know if I ever mentioned Little Bit and Crazy Linda were rehomed. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that in any previous videos, if you're wondering, if you're curious. Um, their temperament just wasn't what we were wanting in terms of breeding. They really needed a lot more attention, one-on-one -on -one attention, um, just because of their skittish nature. And Little Bit was turning pretty, pretty mean, um, even just on a daily basis without being pregnant. So they really needed, um, needed a different environment, so. That is why Miss Chip here is in Little Bit's old cage. All right, let's see what you've got going on in here. Now, I know I could put a nesting box in here with you, but you don't need it this soon, Mama. You don't. Or do you want one? Hmm, would you start nesting if I put one in there? No, no? Hmm. She's got two water dishes because I don't know if the birds that like to nest um, up there, I don't know if they come down and drink some of this water too, but the dish won't be spilled. It'll just be completely empty. And yes, it's possible she drinks that much, but I don't ever want them going without water, so. If you ever see more than one water dish in one of the cages, that's why. Either that or their um, water dish flippers, which she is known to do that. Excuse me. Hey. Excuse me, sweetheart. Can I set the water dish back down? Thank you. What do you think, Chip? You want me to go ahead and put a nesting box in here with you? What do you think? I'm thinking... Probably not yet. I don't think she was actually... She likes to move her hay around a lot. So I don't think she was actually trying to show nesting behavior there. Well, I don't know, y'all. Chippy Dippy. All right. 
I'll be back. I'll get you a box. Watch it. Well, don't get your head squished. Come on. Come on. All right. She does like to play around with her hay a lot um, when I put it in there. But since she is due two weeks from now, I'm going to go ahead and get her a nesting box in there just in case she does want to start um, making a nest and showing those uh, behaviors. But I need to fill up my water bucket anyway. So I'm going to do that and hunt me down the nesting box and I'll bring you back. All right, Miss Chip. Now I forget where your comfort boards are. You, you dropped it. Do you not like that stash of hay? All right. I'll put you right in this corner over here. Watch out. Watch your head. Oh, there you go. There you go, darling. You don't got to get in it, but you can if you want, okay? Bring you some more hay. And, um, y'all, this is, uh, her first time. First time being a mama. Vanna says, ah, that's old news. Vanna's an old pro at it now. All right, Chippy Dippy, there you go. There's some more hay. Yeah, you know what to do. You'll get in there. Maybe not till it gets closer, but... And I don't mind leaving them, or leaving the nesting boxes in there early. Um, the only thing, if you do that, to make sure, especially if it has a solid bottom, is um, just make sure they don't start using the bathroom in there. Which, most of the bunnies have been pretty good about that. So look at that little tail. Look at that little tail. What you think, darling? You approve? <laughs> oh, y'all. Here, let me actually scoot it back a little bit. That way, if you want to go behind it, you can. Hi, werewolf. What are you doing, sweetie? Werewolf is a very good bunny. He's very calm. A little messy. And y'all, I would leave this just down, but it is damp, so I don't know. It's been raining. I don't know if some rain got on it or if it was his bathroom spot. So we're just going to be safe and give him some brand new fresh hay. What do you think? Huh? He's a good boy. But yeah, he was getting a little rambunctious with the ladies. So, now don't fall. Don't fall out. I can't wait. I think tomorrow we're supposed to get um, our new mounting bracket thing for the GoPro. Because that magnetic base is so convenient just because it's flat and <laughs> sticks to things a lot easier. What do you think, werewolf? What is it? been eating a lot, dude. Mouth, I'm coming. There you go. Alright, there you go. What do you think? All right, what are you doing? Now you've made yourself a little bathroom area all over the place. What are you doing, dude? I see heart. And this is Levi. Yeah. Just went to the bathroom everywhere. Excuse me, I need to clean. I need to clean, dude. Come on. Excuse me, y'all. I still feel so much better. Um, my sinuses have finally 
pretty well completely cleared up, but it did go from 70 degrees to like a high of 35 degrees in the span of one day. But that's Indiana for you. Y'all like smelling all the other bunnies on the GoPro, don't you? Mouse, what are you doing? Let me in. And he, I had to add a standalone food dish because he got to the point where he was not eating any of the food out of this food dish. But he'll eat it out of the standalone, but I just think that that food dish is too small for him. He does have kind of a big head. So, that's why I added a little bowl. Excuse me. Excuse me, mouse. All right, let's see if I can set this. Will you let me set it down? You're going to be too curious, aren't you? And if you can't see the resemblance, mouse is one of Levi's offspring. What are you doing, dude? <clears throat> Mouse is not a very big hay eater, but I always like to make sure they have some. And y'all, let me tell you, uh, let me tell you a funny story here. Sorry, I got hair all in my mouth. All right, if you've watched my chore videos before, you've heard me talk about how close, or you've seen how close all the little, I don't know if you can see it on top of the cage. Yeah, all the little wild birds, little, we get a lot of finches, swallows. Um, I've said it time and time again, one of these days I'm going to take a bird to the face because they just fly so close to me. Um, well, it was last Sunday, I believe. No, not Easter. The Sunday before Easter. I was giving my testimony at church that day and I was up really early before dark doing my rabbit chores and all my feeding chores. So I had a headlamp on. Not thinking anything of it. I went to open old mouse's cage here and there was a bird roosting inside that freaked out over my headlamp. Flies straight at me, y'all. This bird bounced off my face. Um, luckily it was small, so it didn't hurt, but um, I think me and the bird were both extremely startled and we're not expecting to start our mornings that way. But I've been careful. There's been a couple times since then where I've had to get the headlamp out. And I know that if I'm going to open a rabbit cage, I need to stand to the side. And there has been a couple of times where they have flown out but I have not since taken another one to the face. Um, but that's one of those moments that why could I have not been recording then? <laughs> and this little fella here, oh, sorry. Sorry if I just got you a, a gate to the face. Um, this was one of the little gray bucks that was in the grow out pen with the two gray does. Little mischievous, little hormonal. So he had to be separated just to give the ladies a little bit of peace. He's sweet. Um, but yeah, I've got some people, a few people interested in some breeding pairs and a few people just wanting to get bunnies for their kids. So hopefully he will go to a new home sometime this week. This week or next week. And it is getting to that time of year where, especially when we have little baby bunnies, they will sell quickly. Come on. Excuse me. Get my... 
I think at one point in time, I had myself a little wagon over here that I was gonna use to go between the cages with my water and my food and I don't know whatever happened to that plan, but. And then this is the other little buck. And y'all, this cage is gonna go bye-bye soon. Um, as soon as Papa Bear finishes my rabbit hutch over there that we've been working on since November, um, we just have other priorities that keep popping up. Um, but as soon as he gets that finished, the original plan was going to be, um, who was gonna go in there? Chip, I believe Chip and Lisa were gonna go in there. But now that um, Little Bit's been rehomed and Chip is in that cage, I believe what we're gonna do, we're gonna move Thumper and Bart into the that grow up pen. Or not grow up pen, that cage once it's done. And this cage here is gonna be refurbished into another grow out pen like the one on the other side of the corn crib just one big grow out pen um it's worked wonders and it was given to us it's done an amazing job but it's very hard to keep clean just because this is not a very very wide opening on either cage and it's tough for me to squeeze my entire body in there to to get the corners cleaned and everything like that um and I'm not a huge fan of the attached nesting boxes anymore, but y'all want to see something wild. So Thumper, Thumper is pregnant right now, um, but <laughs> she was not pregnant, had not been bred. I've mentioned, if you watched any of the videos from, I guess, late last year when we first started breeding again, <clears throat> we had three different cases of false pregnancy with the rabbits. And y'all, this is wild. They can have false pregnancy and exhibit the signs, full on signs of pregnancy when they've never even been around a buck. And Thumper did it for the first time. Y'all, look at this. She started making a nest and pulling fur for her nest. And that was probably a week and a half, a week, week and a half before I bred her. Um, she was not pregnant, had not been around any bucks. It was not possible for her to be pregnant, y'all. That is proof that false pregnancy in rabbits is crazy. Um, so I'm just going to leave that nest there for her when she actually does um, get ready to to give birth. She'll she'll appreciate that that's already in there, and she's not going to the bathroom in there or anything like that. But I decided um, I wasn't going to breed her originally at that time, but since she was already nesting and everything, I thought, well, maybe she has pregnancy on the brain. Um, and I might have some success with her because this rabbit, and I'm going to have to try to get it on video next time, is hilarious. When she does not want to be bred, if she is not in the mood, she develops a mysterious sneeze. Y'all, and I'm telling you, never once in this cage has she ever had any respiratory issues. She won't sneeze. She won't cough. But if I take her to a buck's cage and she's not in the mood, she will start sneezing and sneezing and sneezing and the buck won't go near her. And she's done this um, twice. And then other times when I take, take her to breed, she's perfectly fine, doesn't do it once. So it is fully voluntary. Um, she knows what she's doing. And I guess, uh, you know, but we did have a successful breeding with her and um, mouse, I believe. Now I gotta be careful with the GoPro in here because she does like to chew on it. All right, I didn't wanna risk her chomping on the GoPro, but y'all, it's snowing. It was 70 something degrees three days ago, and I just seen some snowflakes. Um, but Thumper is a very good mom, so it'll be, it'll be cool to see her babies. She usually gives us a lot too. I think her last litter, there were, I don't know, maybe 10 or 11, but I'm gonna close up shop, Anna. I'm gonna close you in here, okay? You enjoy yourself.
Yeah, so wild. But thank y'all for tagging along. Hope y'all enjoyed seeing some of the the rabbits you probably haven't seen since they were tiny babies. Um, obviously, I'll keep you updated. I'll probably shoot another another video whenever Chip actively starts nesting, which <laughs> I don't think she's left this nesting box since I put it in. Chip, do you approve of it? And y'all, I know y'all probably think that's very small for her, but um, they don't need big nesting boxes. They don't use a lot of space. Um, just like in the wild, if they had their little den, little nest, um, it's pretty small. And she'll only be in there to hop in to, to nurse and then hop out again. But I'll keep you updated on her pregnancy and Thumper's pregnancy. And then if anything else interesting happens with the rabbits, I will let y'all know. Um, keep an eye out for the shorts. And getting brain, brain farts now. Uh... I can't say, well, I can say I haven't had any coffee. I've actually not had any coffee since about the second day of my Emmaus walk, y'all. It wasn't intentional. I wasn't trying to, to give up coffee or anything like that, but um, it was upsetting my stomach one day, and so I just decided not to drink it for a little while, and I haven't drank it since. I've been drinking the, I've switched to cold water now that my sinuses are better. Just in the morning, I've been making myself a tumbler of ice water with lemon and cayenne pepper. I'm hooked on the cayenne pepper, y'all. But anyway, I'm getting to the rambling point. So I'm going to call this a video. And like we like to say here on Mama Bear's Homestead and more, keep on keeping on because we love every one of you. And Jesus does too.